way to a stay on the mic video today. I've been really exciting to see, um, but I know I haven't been on in a while, and I kind of miss it. I do. Um, so forgive my not so lovely appearance, but it is only 5.30 on Thursday morning. Um, so sorry for the noise, too. I'm waiting for my tea water to boil. lunch and he was out the door by quarter of four. Um, I tried to go back to sleep. I couldn't. So I'm trying to change my sleep schedule a little bit. I'm, if, if you watched older videos, you'll see that I go to sleep for like three hours at night and then I gotta wake up and get him off to work and then I go back to bed for like another three hours. Well, that's catching up with me. It's like I'm not getting a good amount of sleep. Last night I went to bed a little earlier. I slept like four and a half hours. Um, and I've been awake ever since. I tried, like I said, I tried to go back to sleep, but couldn't. So at this point now, it's 5.30. I'm just going to stay up. I'm going to make my tea. I'm going to go back to bed with my tea and the iPad um, and just catch up on YouTube and start looking for some new recipes because I'm in the mood to start experimenting with recipes again. Um, now that my life has calmed down a little bit, I can get back to being my normal stay-at-home wife. So, yep, that's all that's happening right now. So anyway, then, I hopefully I will be exhausted tonight when it's time for Mike to go to bed and we can get back to going to bed together. And the reason we kind of got off on our schedule is mainly because of the dog. Um, because he's such a little dog, I worry about him holding his bladder. He's never peed in my bed. <laughs> But I worry about him doing that. Every once in a while, if we have him in the house here penned up for like more than six hours or away, um, he will, he has peed on the floor. Now, fortunately, he only ever peed. For some reason, he likes my garbage can. He'll pee on my kitchen garbage can on the floor. <laughs> um, but that's why we got off schedule because I didn't like letting him in bed for more than three or four hours until I got up to go potty. So I'm going to try the whole sleeping like from 9 to 3 thing if I can get my body clock changed to that. So that's what I'm working on. So anyway, I'm going to finish making my tea here. And then we're going to catch up on YouTube. Okay, back in bed at quarter of 6. And here's my pup by the light of an iPhone. He is just so rotten. Little pumpkin. He's like, nope, I am not giving up for you. It is not happening. So, again, I'm just, oh look, he's even on my iPad. I don't know if you can make that out. He's my screensaver on my iPad. He's just so cute. So yeah, just going to sit here and look for recipes. Okay, after sitting in bed for an hour looking at recipes, I'm like famished. So it's going to be some green bread with peanut butter and some yogurt with granola. Okay, time to go run some errands. Off to the tanning salon, the dry cleaner, and the grocery store. Hey, so I'm back. I did all my errands. I filmed my <coughs> excuse me grocery store haul. And um, one of the things that I did buy at the store that I couldn't show you because it's not here yet is they had a patio table and chairs and umbrella set on clearance because they only had one left. It was the floor model. And again, this is a store that doesn't normally sell that kind of stuff. So it was um, like just weird that they had some left. Oh, I think there's something sticky here on my floor. It's driving me crazy. No, I can't. I'm not going to be able to find it. Hmm. So anyway, I bought it, but because it was the floor model, they threw the boxes away that's already assembled. So it is a square patio table with four chairs and an umbrella, and it was on clearance for $69.99. So I couldn't pass that up because we, I want one for on my deck. Now we can't use the umbrella, obviously, because we have a deck above us, but that's okay. Where is that sticky spot now? Oh, oh my God, I'm sorry. Um, I get distracted. So. 
Um, Mike should be leaving work pretty soon, and when he gets home, then we'll take the Tahoe up to pick up our table. So we can start eating outside finally. I really miss that. You know, the last house we owned, we had um, put on a gorgeous, gorgeous patio. Um, I do, the only thing I miss about that house was that patio. And I miss eating outside. So it'll be nice to eat outside again. So I've been clearing off my deck. So I just left one chair here in the corner and the patio table will go in this corner and we'll probably only put two of the chairs on and let the other two in the basement and in the garage and let the umbrella in the garage since we can't use that. But someone else is like waiting to eat outside too. Can you tell? He's such a little stinker. So anyway, I'm just waiting for Mike to get home. I had to move my giant plant back in the house. It looks like a plant farm in here again. And now I'm washing lettuce. I'm going to make some sloppy joes for dinner. Um, so I'm washing lettuce to have salad. I'm going to let this soak. This is just regular green leaf lettuce. And then I'll put that in the salad spinner. I got some good rolls out of the freezer. So I'm going to toast those up for our sandwiches. And my meat is still thawing. Yes, that is onions, in case you are asking. Yes, I still hate onions, in case you are asking. But I know I have them cut small enough, and I'll fry them down enough that hopefully they'll, like, disappear, and I won't bite one when I eat my sandwich. So that way I won't vomit. So, yeah. Anyway, that's where I'm at. So I'll get back to you once we get our table here. Okay, this is why you always should wash lettuce. I don't know if you can make that out down there. But that little creepy thing in the strainer with the legs is a freaking spider. I hate spiders. So now, while that lettuce has been sitting in my refrigerator for a few days, um, was that spider already dead or was it still alive and now it just drowned? I guess I'll never know at this point. Oh my God. I want to just throw the entire thing of lettuce away, but I'm not gonna. But now I'm going to have this mental block every time I try to eat it because I hate spiders. I love snakes. I love mice. I'll pick up a rat. Do not put a spider in front of me. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't deal with this. Oh my God. Hey, good morning everyone and happy Friday. Um, forgive me, but it's still not even four o'clock in the morning yet, so I'm not showered. Um, but I didn't finish yesterday's vlog and um, I'll go into, well, I'm going to look at Um My father ended up calling me yesterday afternoon and kind of put me in a mood. Um, and I'm not going to go into a bunch of details, but I just, I was upset and I just didn't vlog the rest of the day, so sorry. But it's okay. Um, everything's good for now. So I guess I'll just continue with today. So of course it's Friday, it's Farmer's Market Day, um, but right now I'm just watering plants. So and get right take water out and water the outside flowers and my big floor plants so yeah who else waters plants at not even four o'clock in the morning but oh well well here's the table and two of the chairs it was actually a six piece set with a table four chairs and an umbrella um, but just for space reasons um, we're going to let the other two chairs in the garage unless we have people over and obviously we don't need an umbrella with being on the lower deck on the lower floor so yeah I'm gonna sit out here and enjoy my tea this morning hey everyone so again it was it is Friday I wasn't gonna say it was gonna say it was Friday no it's still Friday um, but I'm back in the farmers market but I also made a couple other stops Let's hold on my little nugget on top here so I decided I needed a little pick-me-up. It's been a little rough around here lately, mainly just for me personally, nothing to do with Mike and I. Um, and every once in a while, a girl just needs to treat herself to some stuff. Now, I didn't go to the mall and spend a bunch of money, mind you, but I did do a little shopping. So, yeah. Now, again, the bulk of this is food for market. And I'm going to do a haul, of course, of everything that I bought. But 
Yes, I did treat myself to a couple little things this morning. Again, nothing expensive and not a lot, but just a little something, something. Okay, so I'll start with Ross Dress for Less. I got myself four shirts, so this is one of them. Sleeveless, just thought it was super cute. $14.99 is all I paid for that. And then I got a fuchsia tank top with a little gold buckle on the top. I have a pair of flip-flops that I got this year at the Ralph Lauren outlet that are black and white and fuchsia with a gold RL for Ralph Lauren on them. I just thought this would go perfect with a pair of white pants. And I paid $8.99 for that. And I found this cute navy blue top. has little ties on the shoulders. $11.99. And then this cute little yellow tunic. I only have one yellow piece of clothing and it's a tank. Sweater tank. Um, and I love it, and I bought some gold jewelry to wear with it. Not gold, yellow jewelry to wear with it. But it's my piece I had. So I did find this, and I paid a whole $12.99 for it. So again, I thought they were really good bargains. And then I bought a jewelry organizer. My bracelets, I have a lot of them um, in one bin that are like stiff-type bracelets that will go perfect here. But then I have another jewelry box that has um, these type bracelets that are chain that are... It's, I have too many of them for the small jewelry box, so I'm going to move my stiffer bracelets over to here and move my chain type bracelets into the bigger box. So that's it from Ross. And then I also went to the Christmas tree shops. So this is what I got from there. Their fall stuff is out already. So I got a bag of little fall decorations. I'll put those away until fall gets here, obviously. A new bath poof, nothing exciting. Some gummy soda bottles, Orange Crush and Dr. Pepper to take to the movies. Yes, I sneak candy in because I'm cheap. Some Kettle Cook candied peanuts in the Butter Crunch flavor. The Peanut Shop of Williamsburg, um, we have been to them. They actually have a store in Savannah, Georgia, and their nuts are incredible. So obviously we're not in Williamsburg to buy them or in Savannah to buy them. There's limited places that carry them around here, but they do have an online store. So um, if you love nuts, give them a try. They're great peanuts. A bun maker, I used to have one. It ripped, so I just am replacing my bun maker. My cotton rounds to take off my eye makeup. I'm on my last pack now. These cute little finger bowls, which I'm gonna use when I cook to measure my spices out in. And then a new um, ceramic frying pan, which I've never used ceramic before, so this will be my first time. I have an 11-inch Teflon nonstick frying pan now, but my Teflon's wearing off the bottom and flaking, and you don't want to eat that stuff, so this was just a replacement. And I think this was only $9.99. Yeah, $9.99 is all I paid for that, which I didn't think was a bad deal at all. So, oh, and I got a uh, table runner for fall. I don't know. Sorry about that. My battery cut out when I was showing the table runner. So there it is. I don't know how much I got off the last um, clip or not. So that's it. That's all I treated myself to. Again, nothing expensive, nothing huge. Just a couple little treats because, yeah, I was in a mood. And that's not a reason to go shopping. I apologize. Wow, that's really bad. But it's my reason. So, yep, that's it. Well, that's going to do it for this vlog. I'm just sitting here enjoying the opening ceremonies of the Olympics. Um, I, I'm thoroughly enjoying them. Rio's doing a fabulous job. From the beginning, I started tearing up. and was more tearing up. I had tears because I think it's just amazing what people can do when they just come together and just, I mean, the, the choreography and the concentration um, it's it just, it's, it amazes me what people are capable of. It just, I'm done now. I'm going to finish enjoying this. So have a good weekend. Enjoy the Olympics if you're watching them. And I'll be back soon. Bye.